What up bros, I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Doomlands Double Dealer. This blaster in essence is a pump action spring fed blaster that simultaneously loads from two different magazines that feed horizontally. Pretty cool in theory, let's get into the review. Included with this blaster is the blaster itself, the two magazine wells, two magazines, and some darts, as well as the manual, of course. The magazine wells are very simple to install. You just snap them into place, but it is worth noting these are not designed to take on and off, like in between rounds or anything. Once you snap them into place, they're there. They come detached for shipping reasons, but let's get into the external features. Starting up with the front, this blaster does not feature an in-strike attachment nozzle, because with two barrels, you know, wouldn't really work to have one attachment like clogation up in there. Up top, Instrike Tactical Rail, and there's another Tactical Rail over here as well. Down below is the priming grip, very intimidating, overdone, like a sword almost, like with a little hand stop here, but to prime, you pull back, push forward, and you can fire once. After you prime, you've set yourself up to shoot both barrels at the same time. You can't choose which to shoot. So when you pull the trigger, it shoots two at once. It doesn't shoot one, two, or anything like that. To the magazine wells, to take out either mag, you have to pull the priming handle back, strike the mag release right here, and then pull. It's symmetrical on the other side, so you can pull out the other as well. Pulling out the left one's pretty straightforward because it's right in front of you, but I would advise you don't try to twist around like this. If you just tilt the blaster, then you can just kind of pull it out and your left hand's doing the same action. No complaints about the mag well. You can get the mags in and out pretty easily. Both of these magazines come included with the double dealer. Each of them hold 12 darts total. Now they look a little new because of this cool little base thing. I think that looks really cool in my opinion, and it's a transparent magazine. It's a new look, but these are still compatible with other blasters. And if you have other Nerf magazines, it is compatible with the double dealer. This is just a cosmetic thing. For example, this is an 18 round rapid strike magazine. It fits in there just fine. And this will go right into a rapid strike without issue. Moving back in the blaster, I already mentioned the tactical rail up here for optics or whatever. Down below is the grip. The grip shape itself is pretty comfortable, but the length of pull or trigger reach is very small. I'll get to that in my opinion. The trigger pull, however, is what you should expect from any spring blaster. And this blaster also has slam fire, which means you can hold down the trigger, and when your priming handle hits the forward position, both darts will fire. Further back, this is the stock. This is a permanent stock. It doesn't collapse, fold, or anything like that, but it actually holds two magazines in here. Just slide in the tip. Oh yeah. The retention is pretty good. It's not too strong to the point where you're just like forcing it out or anything, but it's not too weak to when I ran around with it in my house, the magazines didn't randomly fall out or anything like that. So I approve of the retention there. It does further restrict your grip and stuff because now my wrist is firmly running into these magazines, but the price you pay for extra ammo for that quick reload when you, when you run out. The spacing here is very tight. I'll elaborate on that in my opinion, but my wrist is frequently bumping into the stock region instead of it being further back and out of the way like most other Nerf blasters. And being a Doomlands blaster, it doesn't have a rear stock attachment point like it doesn't have the front either, so you can't attach your in-strike tactical uh, stocks or anything like that. Operating the double dealer is very similar to other spring nerf blasters. You take out the magazines, you load them up, then you just prime back and fire away. As you can see, it fires both at one time, but if you take out one magazine and you no longer have a mag or one mag runs dry and the other still has ammo, it will still fire. So you can still fire out of a one full mag with it empty, or if one runs out before and they're both loaded into the blaster, you can always fire. This contrasts with the Rhino Fire, and in my review I complained about that because with the Rhino Fire, if you took out a mag, you were disabled from firing the other mag. So with this blaster, if this was full, you could be firing or you could prime it back and have a hot gun on somebody while you're reloading this other mag and then reload it when you're full. If it's unclear, this is a compliment to the blaster, not a complaint. Firing the blaster when it doesn't jam is really fun, but I had a huge number of jams. It tore up my darts, I got locked out of the blaster, I'm gonna try to wait for this to, to happen again because occasionally I just couldn't prime back the blaster. Super frustrating, and the darts that did fire, I had quite a few that just barely nubbed out, quite a few that got stuck in this barrel, and I had to clear it out. Good thing this access door here is clear because I had so many jams, it was great to not have to open up the access door to diagnose the jam. It was clear so I could immediately say, hey, I jammed. Most blasters, it's not that big a deal. A jam really doesn't occur that often, or maybe when you're using crummy darts. With this blaster, brand new darts just 
it tore them up. It was not reliable at all. But I put the double dealer up on the chronograph and I achieved an average velocity of about 62 feet per second, which is a little below the 70 FPS average out of the Elite Blasters. And when I'm firing this blaster and I'm firing others in the same day, I can see that this is shooting a little slower. And that's reflected in that 62 FPS average. It's a little bit slower than other blasters. So now getting to my overall opinion, starting out with my pros, I think the pros of this blaster kind of start and end with, it has two mags that feed at the same time. I think that's pretty cool. I personally think it's pretty gimmicky and I don't really like the fact that they're shooting out sideways because if you try to walk through a doorway, if you try to walk around anybody else, you're gonna, you're gonna run into something. Magazines generally go up or down for very good reason. <laughs> now getting to my cons, my first huge one is I got locked out of the blaster way too many times. I fired this blaster about five to 700 times and I got locked out at least 30 or 40 times, like an unbelievably high amount. Checked with a few buddies that also bought the double dealer. They were experiencing similar issues and I know other people have torn up darts and a lot of jams and a lot of nonsense. So I'm confident I don't have a lemon. I think this double dealer was overall just a very rushed blaster. For a second or third stage prototype, I could say, hey, that's pretty cool. Th that's a good idea. We can refine it into an actual product. But at this point, I think it's mostly just kind of a prototype with the constant jams and nonsense. Now getting to my personal complaints regarding the rear here. Length of pull or the trigger reach is the distance between the trigger and the back of the plastic here where the webbing of your hand catches. The double dealer's length of reach is very small. I measured it to be about 1.75 inches. This contrasts with the Strife's 2.5, the Modulus 2.25, the Tri-Strike 2.25, and the Roto Fire, which is a Mega Blaster, so it's going to be bigger, 2.75. Now, I totally get that a lot of viewers say, hey, you're an adult. These, these products aren't designed for you. They're designed for children. Sure, but the trigger reach or the length of pull being a little bit bigger isn't going to alienate a child because they can just tilt their hand a little bit around. When an adult or or somebody with even like a 17, 16 year old's hand gets on this blaster, you're going to experience it being very cramped in this area to the point where you have to pull the trigger by pushing in with the tip of your finger instead of like the pad. It's just very tight here. Beyond the trigger region here, the stock is far too close to the grip. So my wrist is constantly bumping into this, especially if you have magazines in there. It completely restricts the bla blaster manipulation there. So you really can't do much <laughs> at all. Even without it there, you can see my wrist bumping into it. It's, it's very uncomfortable. This stock is too short to use as an actual stock for pretty much anybody unless, I mean, even if you're a hobbit. I know Target has a huge chain, but I'm not sure if they're active in the Shire for those hobbits out there. So really, I don't know why they didn't just lift this whole component up and away from this area. It would have made it comfortable and then you could actually use this. And I think that's a cool little feature that's reminiscent of the long shot. So those are my gripes. My overall opinion, would I recommend this blaster? No, not to anybody. No matter how big or small you are, it jams far too often. From what I can see, I did not get a lemon. This is just a poor design that should be refined. The locks are just too hyperactive in my opinion. That's why modders take out the locks because they slow you down and if you fire this blaster really slow oh there it unlocked out if you could see that that was the lock being too active and locking me out overall opinion no definitely not if you want a spring powered slam fire blaster like this the elite alpha trooper is a great alternative that a lot of people use the rampage if people even sell those although those only have one barrel firing so you can't have your double streams whatever I'd recommend getting more mags and then just aiming better and not needing a shotgun you scrub activate aimbot exe do 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 then you can just hit everything with your first shot. So that's my opinion and review of the Doomlands Double Dealer. If you're interested in purchasing one, which I would recommend you not, I will put a buy link in the description box below. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay tactical. And when you put worker 22 round drum mags, doesn't this look like a dude saying, hey, what up, bro? You want a nerf? You want, you want a nerf, bro? Isn't that what it looks like? That's what I think of. Although continuing this metaphor gets a little inappropriate.